Hey friends, this is Joe Jessup here with Brickbuilt Studios, and today we're going to be reviewing 75301 Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. Now this is a particularly exciting model, as it's one of the first X-Wings we've gotten in quite some time that's actually affordable for many builders, especially younger builders, with a price tag of $50, or $49.99. As you may recall, many of the previous X-Wings that we've been getting over the last couple years have been in the uh, $70, $80, and even $90 price ranges, so now that we're actually getting one that's an affordable playset is phenomenal. So we've got 474 pieces here, which comes out to about 10.5 cents per piece. Now, additionally, a downside to this model is it is very sticker heavy. As you can see, the stickers here are quite detailed, so that's fine. It does come with a printed control panel there. I think that's the only printed piece in the whole model. Everything else is stickers. It's kind of a little bit of a disappointment, but again, in this price range, you really can't find too much to complain about with that. Now, the really nice thing is there are quite a few new pieces in here. We've got these new engine nacelle type pieces that just plug on the front. You can see we've got a couple other new pieces here as well. This set does come with plenty of those parts, so it's a really good parts pack, well-priced. It comes with a lot of great minifigures. I believe this is the first time we've seen this General Dodonna minifigure. He has one of those newer uh, chromed blasters with him as well, so that's really cool. As you can see, we also have an extra lightsaber hilt, so you always have more hilts for your collection. Now, some of the pros to this set is LEGO has finally gotten rid of the rubber bands. The rubber bands were fine for 2005. But let's be realistic here, as the LEGO building system has advanced, some of their techniques have not, and it's been kind of frustrating to see those rubber bands keep popping up again and again. Now, with this new S-foil mechanism, I was super excited that they were getting rid of the rubber bands, as I've mentioned. But the downside to this mechanism is it's relatively bulky, and it's quite complex. Now, the model itself is advertised for kids 9 on up, and there's going to be the majority of kids out there. If they pay close attention, they won't have any issues with this. I had to keep double-checking my work myself just to make sure I didn't get anything wrong because there's a lot of complex steps and they're all piled up. This portion of the build is just far more complex than I was expecting and it might be a lot more complex than some kids are expecting. They may just need some assistance here and there, so be mindful of that. But beyond that, I think it's certainly an improvement over what LEGO has done previously. Now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate this mechanism quick. As you can see, you just have this little button right up here on the top. Push it down, it locks it into place, and for the most part it stays. And it's, it's sturdy, it's smooth. To close it back up, you just pinch the wings closed, and that's it. There's no little gears on the back, no rubber bands. You can see the wings are a little bit shaky, but they're still quite stable. Now, as far as display purposes are concerned, you can only display it in the wings closed position because of that mechanism. And if you try to display it with the wings open, as you can see, you got to set it down and it just kind of starts the closing process and then the wings just close right up. So that's kind of a downside with it. But at the end of the day, it's a great mechanism and it's still very swooshable and it's smooth. And we don't have those rubber bands. The rubber bands are gone. So happy about that. So uh, looking into some of the downsides to this model, um, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller. A lot of people have really been complaining about the size, but in comparison with previous models, I think it's about four studs longer than the, the X-Wing from 2018, which was our last T-65 classic Star Wars X-Wing. I'm fine with that, personally. I feel like a lot of these playset models have been overscaling and they've been growing beyond minifigure scale size. If you get down to the metrics of the X-Wing, you'll find that previous 2018 X-Wing was just a little bit too long. We talked about the landing gear a little bit. The landing gear isn't great. It shouldn't be that much of a complaint. Like I've heard some people have really complained hardcore about that. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. The nice thing about the landing gear is that the front strut does pop right off and you don't even really notice the back ones. You just pop it back on when you're trying to display it. It got rid of flick fire missiles on the top wings, which I'm really appreciative about. Um, with this model, they've just downsized two flick fire missiles. They've integrated it into the bottom wing where it's very low profile. You can barely see the end of the flick fire missile below the top wing in the background. And anyone that wants to complain about the little red dots showing, if you watch the movies, especially Empire Strikes Back, you'll see that these X-Wings actually had headlights built right into the wings, and they're more or less right about where these stud shooters 
are sitting, so any purists can rest easy knowing that they've got a set of headlights on their X-Wing now. Uh, lastly, we do have some concerns about the nose piece. The nose on this model is incredibly basic. It's been one of my biggest disappointments and biggest concerns, especially from viewing it on the packaging. It doesn't look good at all. In person, it's not really anywhere near as bad as I thought it would be. The R2 model also does sit pretty high in the R2 slot, uh, specifically because of where the S-foil mechanism locks in. That's not really something that they could avoid. Beyond that, um, what can I say? It's a swooshable, pretty basic X-Wing fighter model for $50 and has nearly 500 pieces. It's got four minifigures, all decent high quality figures. I'm quite happy with it. In closing, I would just like to say thanks for sticking around with us today, watching our review, getting caught up to speed on this X-Wing. We do have a social media presence on Instagram, Facebook, and now TikTok as well. We do still do our weekly giveaways, so be sure to cruise on over to our Facebook page to like and subscribe any of our, our most recent giveaway posts there for a chance to get entered into that drawing. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Stay safe out there.